In this video, I start to work on the PCB layout. Uh, I do need to make sure that I get the, my vendor's capabilities set properly in KiCad so that it can run some design rules checks for me. And keep me honest. I will be transparent here. I have struggled with this. There is a spatial uh, relationship uh, understanding that I just do not have uh, being such a novice with this. And I've struggled trying to determine exactly how much of this to film and release because it is a long, painstaking process. And what you're going to see today is a little bit of that. And then I need some help deciding just how much to record and release. I have quite a bit of my work so far recorded. I have quite a bit of my work so far that I have not recorded. I have started over several times as well, so not everything is relevant that I have recorded. Anyway, let's get into it. Hi, my name is Adam. I'm building a 16-bit computer from scratch. I hope you'll join me on this journey. All right, let's see what we can figure out here. The first thing I think I want to do is see if I can change the paper and then revision. All right. The next thing I think I need to do is update the PCB with, from my schematic, which should import all of my symbols all of my components. There we go. Before I get too deep into the PCB layout and writing or drawing the traces in, I really need to set up KiCad to support what my proposed vendor can support. Um, no affiliation, but I'm planning on using JLC PCB. And so under here, they've got a capabilities uh, tab which is what this is and then I just need to go down through this and set up all of KiCad to support what they support or to limit set the limits of what KiCad will do based on what this vendor in particular will support so let me get going on that and I'll do a review once I'm done Okay, then with that done, if I rerun my checks, I should still have only the two. And so that's good. I don't I haven't broken anything in particular. With that, what I want to be able to do now is I zoom out. I'm going to go down to these connectors on the bottom of the board here. And ultimately, um, what I want to do is on the back copper layer. I want to connect this, run a trace from there to there, and there to there. Down here in the corner, as I run each one of these traces, the number of unrouted traces goes down. So 574, 
Actually, I want to put these on the top. These are all being lined up so they're all interconnected. And the goal is from here to try to lay out the board from the bottom up and see if I can reclaim some space um, such that I can shrink the size of this. It's a little bit bigger than what I'd like to order because the uh, cost is going to be a little high. So I'm basically uh, making an effort here to... Uh, get things wired up so I can resize this board here. Okay, well, I'm very aware that it's been quite a while since I've put out a video, so I'm going to uh, stop at this point and let you see what I've done so far and what I'm about to do. Uh, there's something with pulling this together that requires some spatial ability to pull all this together that I just am not finding yet. This is again the first time I have actually tried to build a PCB and draw it all out and it's not working well. And what I've got up here in the corner here is address bus 1 and its outputs, address bus 2 and its outputs, AOUA and its outputs, AOUB and its outputs, and then if I scroll down the screen here, this is the uh, main bus and then the byte swap main bus, and then I've got the LEDs for showing the actual values with what's in the register. I've got the control signals and the line drivers associated with it. And this ends up being so dense down here that I'm struggling to uh, actually be able to pull it all together properly and fit it within the space of board that I board size that I want to use. I'm going to come up here and do a global deletion, and I'm going to delete all of my tracks and vias. and gone and I'm starting over again and I'm going to revisit the layout and see if I can tighten this up a little bit but I really need to make sure that I can fit everything on the board properly so uh, more to come as soon as I can so with that yeah I still have to create the PCB and and get that design layout all worked out um, I still have my clock to do's and I will probably pull the keycad clock circuit design higher up in the list now knowing exactly how difficult it is to get that laid out well um, my control my op assembly op codes and operations I do need to get into that quickly and again I do have some issues with the test harness making sure that I've got a line driver associated with that Thank you. We'll see you soon.